Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld as Natalia and Rabbit are passing in the night. Rabbit's bringing back his mega sloth that he took out up there, and Natalia just finished a wool toque. So we're finally starting to get wool. That is a little bit sitting out over here. I wonder if she will grab this on her way down and make one more. I'm not sure if there's any more clothes queued up right now. I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. And you are, you swapped it out and put it on yourself. <laughs> yeah, she knows the good one. All right, I deleted the two beds that were about to be built here because Tomislav wrote in asking if he could have a a, a, a royal, a wooden bed, royal bed, which is made out of gold. But that takes all of our gold, so I'm going to have to say no on that one unless we find some more later. But I am thinking about maybe one of the wooden beds made out of something like marble. That's going to take 70 marble blocks to do. Um, let's pop two of those in. It kills the uh, uh, the stockpile whenever you build something in it, but we can rebuild that later. But um, two tries there to make a good quality marble bed, which will have a good beauty rating, which will boost the beauty of the room. The, the concern about this is if we get a character later that is... Boy, is, is it jealous? Is that the one that uh, if that they want the best quality bedroom or they will throw a tantrum? And so if we have one already set up with gold and marble, then it's going to be hard to beat that later to get that other person's uh, bedroom more ostentatious than that. So, but we'll give this a try. A marble bed, that's, that's quite impressive. Um... What else? Everyone's kind of gone to bed for the night. You see all the, the Z's going up. And Talia is down to research now. Good. So she can research. And she'll be block cutting because Michael will be doing that. And clothes. What do we have for... That's a torch. There we go. Clothes, electric tailing bench, bills. Everything has been satisfied so far. Now, we will have more wool coming in. We'll probably want to swap out our toques and dusters with the uh, with the wool. But I think at the moment, that's fine. The campfires are all burning out. So we're down to one heater, which isn't enough to do what we need to do. So campfires is probably the way we're going to go because we don't have enough steel to really build more heaters, even though we've got the power to supply them. So we need steel. We need wood. What else do we need? Um, I'm going to pause before all these guys wake up because I'm going to put them all to work. But Quiet Mirth wrote in asking about the changes over here. It seemed a waste to tear all of this down once this is built. Is there any way to use both? Now, I was going to tear all this down because I figured we needed the building materials to build the other one, but we're pretty much there. Unless there's a whole bunch of not full spaces here, but five of five, I think we've probably got... All of this filled. All saying five of five. Just got to build them now. And we've got a little bit left over there and a little bit left, well, quite a bit left over here. So I'd say we've got enough for both. So it wasn't what I was intending to do, but it, it would function. What if we had a pathway that went through this, down like this, around, back up, that's the new one I put in, and then take a turn and use the old one. It still pops them out at the same place. I was thinking about ending this one right here, and it would pop out right there anyway. So it still pops out in the same place for a turret right here to aim right into it. Probably two turrets. One, you know, They're going to make a beeline for a turret and try to destroy it. The other one can be shooting them as they come in. And then another one even over here, backing up these two. Probably a long-term plan. But that's doable, and it gives us... In Alpha 13, we had... A, a long run for a gauntlet and then it made a turn and came back and went down the long run again and the danger was that we had a bunch of doors every six or eight squares through here there was a set of doors and I put one in each door and just pray that they wouldn't shoot each other as I shot down the length of this thing trying to hit them as they came around the corner with this much more gauntlet available to us I could put one in each place and still have plenty of places to put everybody so there's that advantage to it. So I think I'm going to let them build this out, take out the few that, that separate them. It means we're going to want doors on this run right here. So cancel you and you and you, and let's drop doors in those spaces. Uh, structure, wooden doors, right there. 
Um, we got wooden doors here. We've got them there. So that takes out the two corners. And we got them right here. So they can... The only problem is, are they going to run through the gauntlet system to get to these doors over here? Or are they really going to take the easiest route? So hopefully they know not to try to step on the traps that are going to go in here. I'll have to, we'll have to play with this. A simple two-sided gauntlet makes it much easier to guarantee that you're not going to interweave through this whole thing trying to go through all the doors to get out. You know, clip through this door, this one, run all the way up through the traps to go through this one and go through these two, or some crazy pathing thing like uh, RimWorld tends to do. So if it turns out that they're navigating traps to get through this, then we'll tear all this down later. But we'll give this a try and see what happens. Okay, so that one is settled. Um, what else is going on? I queued up a bunch of trees. I don't want to take them too far from the base to cut trees and I have to haul them all back in. But I kind of want our trees in here for cover. If we do get breached, then I want to be able to fall back to this side of the trees and, and have the trees between us and them as we're falling back. But with a turret, turret over here somewhere shooting into there we probably want to have some of this open and maybe eventually we want it all open i don't know but right now i queued up the few of them there that are going to be immediate wood for our projects got some more long-term wood out there i didn't go any further north and then i went across the river here and, and queued up some in this area so there's plenty of places to get it we could even even head into here a little bit we could that would be closer than out over here. This seems too far for me. Seems like a lot of walking. Cancel all of you guys for now. And let's queue up these instead. Orders and chopping and right there. There is a few more. Okay. That should be plenty for what we're doing right now. So we need wood. We need steel. So miners. I think Handy is really good at it but I want her constructing and she is going for a meal. Sangria is harvesting an oak tree but first of all sangria you haul in the alpaca wool and when you're done haul in the kibble put those away and then you can take off and you've got plant cuts set high hmm you do let's change that we don't have a lot of time before the real winter sets in so sangria plant cut is two okay it is set correctly you're going to handle whenever there's something to handle apparently there isn't and so you dropped into grow, which there aren't any, and you dropped into plant cut. So that works, that's working the way it's supposed to. Okay. Otherwise, Handy's good at, at uh, mining, but I want her doing construction. Thomas Law will be doing construction because there's no uh, injuries to treat right now. And Chantigo's good at mining, but I want him cooking as many meals as he can because we need to use up some ingredients and clear some space in here. So that leaves rabbit. Um... I don't know of any other animals that are queued to hunt. Now, he was out late. I thought about going after this guy, but we really need the mining done. So, we've got... I'm hearing hissing noises. There are repairs going on over here. That's what the hissing noise was last time. Last episode. I thought it was cooking, but there was no cooking going on. It's, re it's the, the repair sound. There we go. All the shooting we did, trying to take out those bugs. So now Handy is going to work on that. Um, yeah, you do that. And I want... Let's see. I want somebody to haul wood to those other doors. So Tomislav, you are consuming a fine meal. Michael does not haul, but he is block cutting. And you found another piece of granite. Good. Otherwise, do some more marble. We need 70 for a bed, and we've got 40, 60 available. Marble. It says we have 20. So that kind of confirms for me. It's only going to count what's actually in a stockpile, even though it's on our map. That's the only marble that counts right there. So who else? Rabbit is sleeping because he was up late. A little conversation over here. Klaus and Justin trying to convince them to be part of our colony and let's see here ham is hauling meat that was interesting hauled some out swapped something and came back in no there must have been some sitting over here went and added to the pile and moved it dropped off some right there did a little auto save or something pause and drop it off the rest there we're running out of room in here again I tried something here. 
I took out the um, stockpile right in here and added a new one and made that one specifically for meals. So as this stuff gets turned into meals, into you know ingredients being cooked, then Shantigo or who? No, these this is a drop on floor. So whomever will just be dropping meals right there. Um, tell you what, Shantigo, haul these in though, so we can bring meat over. I want to find you a stack of 75 meat. What's around here? Right there. Um, hmm. Tell you what, just drop it there. Somebody else will get that. Okay. Let's have you bring in the 68 venison right there. And that will get you up and going again. And we'll get some more berries over here too and get that filled up. And then you can just crank out meals. Fine meals, we have six. Yeah, we can go up to 50. So let's get as much as possible. All right, you're making that one. I kind of got there late. Who else can bring Klaus can? Soon as you do that, what are you gonna do? Kathra can. She's just <laughs> laying there watching clouds. Needs she needs it. No, that's beauty. Joy right there. Klaus, why don't you haul these berries over and fill up Shantigo? Any more venison? You are venison. You can haul that one too. So that didn't work the way I was hoping to. Oh, because I grabbed the one that was in this stockpile. Okay, let's have you, after that really long run, let's try putting that back. Where are we? There's no hauling berries. Why is that? Is a clear space because Shantigo, no. Maybe one of the dogs is assigned to do it? Maybe Ham's on his way? To haul insect meat. No. Huh. Okay, let's try this one. Can you haul 75 rice? You can. But you didn't want to haul those berries. That was odd. Okay. Well, when you're done, then haul the venison. Or not. <laughs> so, you're going to do it. There's still more venison there. Okay, clear that one, do whatever you want to do. Alright, but what I want is as many meals made as possible, as fast as possible. Ham, you are still doing fine. Really glad for that. Okay, Rabbit, you snuck out and got away from me. Where are you at? You are harvesting an oak tree. Okay, let's set you specifically for mining for a while. Um, Rabbit, right there. Let's turn your... Grow down to two and your mining right there to one. And let's set you specifically right there. Actually right there. One over, you'll, you'll work the closest one next to you after that. We'll get that one done. Now we need to get a little cleaning done in here to get these guys, make sure they're happy as, as can be. Who would that be? That would be Shantigo or Tomislav. And they're both quite busy. Okay, so we'll ignore that for now. All right, looking at the list. Marble bed, auto pistol. Michael was, you know, he did an amazing job of that one shot that went from here all the way out there and took out that bug. After that, he couldn't hit the side of a barn. And his description is that he really enjoys the um, the pew 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 of a, of a fast shooting gun. So... He's asked that we at least get him into using an auto pistol. So let's do this one right here. We'll put the uh, the bolt action car, but where did you go? You snuck away. What were you doing? Oh, you were going after a uh, chunk of, of marble or of a, we call that, uh, granite way out there. Okay. Anyway, that'll get him something that shoots a little bit quicker, and which, is, which will help out his uh, skilling up anyway. So we'll do that. He, his accuracy is impaired because he's a, he's a, what was that called? A something, there you are. Lost the word, trigger happy. Which means that he wants to shoot faster, but it cuts his accuracy down. So the more skill he's got, the more it'll offset that loss of accuracy. So maybe him at a nine is equal to a someone without that at a six, or I'm not sure how that would convert, but that's the idea. Otherwise, he's got his auto pistol and he is playing chess because it is not 1400. 
He just needs some joy. He's he's tanked. His mood has a permanent uh, uh, detractant to it too because of the depressive. So needs his mood's always going to be a little bit low, which means we probably should give him an extra amount of. We've got no joy. Now that's not good. Let's give you joy one early. All right, that'll give you more chance to at least keep that one topped off. Otherwise, increasing the beauty around here would certainly help out. Keep that bar up, and, and there's lots of other things we can do to, to help that out long term. Ham is bringing a deer hide duster in. Great. What else? That didn't continue. Why didn't that continue? Rabbit probably went for a break. Yep, we're right there. And then he's going to go and mine over here next, so I'll have to uh, keep an eye on that. How are your needs anyway? Your joy is fine. Let's just get you right back into there again so I don't forget it later. I meant to get you doing that last episode, and that didn't happen. Anyway, what else can I do to speed things up? Tomislav is playing horseshoes, and he's kind of done there. Can I get you to clean this? Uh, work on cleaning rock. Natalia started a social fight with Kathra. Slighted. Ooh. Who slighted who here? Social. Was slighted by Kathra. So Kathra is abrasive nature. Slighted Natalia's um, <clears throat> psychopathic nature. <laughs> you put the two of that together and this isn't going to end well. Watch out, Tomislav. They mean business. <laughs> so they'll, they'll punch each other in the nose a few times, and they're no longer social fighting. Catherine is going to go rest. Natalia, that's Sienna. Natalia is going to consume a fine meal, and then she's going to go rest after that. She's going to get something to eat first. How bad off are they? Needs bruises. Let's turn off your medicine. What does that mean? Doctor care, but no medicine. If it's just for bruises, let's not waste it. Kathra? Um, bruises only. Same thing. Okay, so just have to remember to turn the medicine back on. And I asked Tomislav to clean up. He did. Great. You are now building a granite wall. Nope. Let's keep you over here cleaning. Which will mean that once you're done, you'll get the order to go treat them. And by the time you're done treating Kathra, Natalia should be getting into a doctor's bed as well, and, and that'll be fine. You're gonna. It is kind of nice to hang around and do the whole room before they they uh, leave, if you're aware of it, and weren't just counting on them doing one thing and being gone. Um, Let's stop you there. I see. These meals being stacked here is a problem. I don't know how to get around that. Putting the stool there didn't help. It's helping keeping them from walking back and forth. They can just turn to it now. But it's still not stopping them from dropping it there. Hmm. Well, let's just manually run through this real quick. You definitely want to go fill that up every time. That is frustrating. Okay, we'll do this again. Haul these next. There's a lot of mules out here. 15, uh, six, 17 mules sitting out here. Okay, you got that one done. Klaus got that one done. All right, so once you get to there, you actually want to grab something to eat. But instead, let's put a whole bunch of... Wow, look at all this venison. Um, haul the venison in, and then that's rice. After that, you can haul the, the rice in. And that should fill up your station to get another what would that be 7 14 meals done 8 yeah 15 meals done okay and Tomislav is now treating Natalia so without medicine we get a poorer quality repair <clears throat> but they're only bruises so it doesn't make any sense to to waste any of our medicine on that just bruises there's I wouldn't 
make a guess that RimWorld's going to toss any infection risk into a bruise. That wouldn't make any sense. So, Kathra, turn you back to good medicine. We only have the one regular one. Natalia, turn you back to good medicine. And... I guess that is it. If Klaus... I think I'm going to try to make a policy of if any of these folks become our colonists in an episode, I'll wait till the next episode to name them. That way it gives me a chance to figure out who's next on the list and, and to see if it's a good fit. There's a few people who have requested specific traits, like Sangria had requested someone that worked with animals. So if the next person in line doesn't fit that purse, that that character, then I want a chance to, to scratch my head and think about that before making anything official. All right, we've got a lot of meat being dissected by Klaus, and I appreciate that and are butchered, but uh, we're kind of running out of storage. So, Klaus, we're going to reset you off of cooking. Well, more to hauling. Let's do that instead. And let, that's mega soft meat. Where's some more venison? Let's haul the venison meat. You'll restock Chantigo by doing that. And for that matter, let's go ahead and set you to haul another batch of this next. <clears throat> and then hopefully you'll just haul meat. Because that stuff's got to get in. There's a little bit of room in here. We could definitely stand to clean all this. Shantigo is cooking a fine meal. What just happened there? Klaus didn't get there in time. Okay, he's bringing the 75 now. Okay. So that was just as Shantiko used the last of the vegetables. All right, so I've not been paying attention again to Rabbit, who still escaped. What am I doing wrong here? Rabbit, mining is your first one. Did you then escape for a meal and then... Where is there more mining nearby? All right, Rabbit, where are you? You are digging at granite this granite over here. It's a long distance to travel. And that's a problem. Hmm. Hmm. I think we will make... Well, I guess we're not that much further right here than cutting through here. That's not going to help as much as I would like. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you two are still sleeping. Natalia got up for what? I didn't see that. Visitors. Um, she already got a meal. Don't know why she did that. Visitors, what do we have? A group from the Iratatna People's Federation are visiting the colony. They seem to have a few items to trade. Jump to location. You guys are coming in here and... Either a coincidence that these guys are following you. I guess it was. Okay, so they're not, you're not coming in to trade foxes and ibex. Okay. So... Klaus, before you go to bed, Tomislav's working on it. Well, that's interesting. So he's making the first of the double beds made out of marble. Otherwise, Klaus, I want you to... Hello. Okay. So this is going to become a real room because we closed it in. And they're just about done. So Handy's resting. I hadn't really thought of this being a room. We can pass through it to go and man different parts of the gauntlet. The enemies won't be able to. But what else could we do with that room? Is there any reason to make that something like an armory? Or is that just risking something of an enemy busting through a door and getting our guns? What would you do in this space? What can you think of? What could be stored there? It's a roofed area, so it's backup storage for something, possibly. I don't know. Think about that. Anyway, Handy, you are going to bed. Is there any last-minute thing I could get you to do on your way in? I see berries out over here. It's just four, and I think we can live without that. Let the animals have it. You can bring in a load of wood, though. In fact, I got rid of our storage space over here because... <clears throat> Ham is hauling in a bug because I wanted the marriage spot in this area. Um... Hmm. We had wood stored here to make it easy access to build things in here like this bed. Where could we 
deal with that again. Having storage out in the open is a negative to beauty and you know to their attractiveness to the room. Though this is more of a hallway, so that kind of worked. Um, so I don't want to do it in here. That's why we separated out the storage over here. But this is all separated out as storage anyway. We could do something in here. Um, guess we could. Let's do this. I'm, I'm doing it. With, I've got. I'm, I'm paused right now so that I can get her to bring something in. But I want her to bring something into a very specific place. So let's cancel or delete zone. Take out these two, and let's put a new zone stockpile right there. It will be clear all. You'll be critical, and you'll only be wood. So what is that? Raw? Yeah, raw wood. So 150 wood stored over here would help us out a lot. Of course, I'll get somebody to move this before I can give her the order to bring it in. So I guess for now, all we can really do is just have her bring wood down into here, and that would help out. So Handy, why don't you just haul in a load of wood on your way in? Okay, Tomislav's there. Where is Klaus? I don't want him going to sleep until we made this trade. Klaus, it was set to hauling, so he could be anywhere right now. Or he's set to wardening, and that's exactly where he should be. Okay, so once he's done wardening and that one failed, is he going to try the other or is he going to leave? He's resting. Alright, so before you rest, how about bringing in another load of wood? And that will stall you enough for these guys to get a little bit closer. You know, maybe that won't work. It's going to be well after midnight before they finally get in here, won't it? Who is that? Sangria. Resting. You were out there training somebody. And the puppies were following you. Why is that? Animals. <clears throat> right there. I'm going to set you guys to none. I'm not going to have you follow Sangria out as you're trying to tame Boomalopes. So, with none... I would imagine they'll hang around more of this area. It'll be easy to find there. Alright, so with that then, do I really want Klaus going off hauling in wood? Well, he's there anyway. Sangri, you can haul some in too. Anybody else outside? <clears throat> nope, you guys made it to there. Klaus is... Yeah, I'll stall you a little bit longer. Why don't you grab that one? Then when you get down a little bit closer, I'll have you uh, combine it with that. And that should... Oh, we could, use, we could uh, stand to get these brought in, too. So do that one first. And then come back and get these guys right there. Now, this doesn't need to be refrigerated, right? I don't get the sense that it does. Though it's almost refrigerator temperature out there. We're at 36 degrees. It's definitely refrigerator temperature. Now, I see the Tomislav didn't finish. If I'm correct, the one that finishes this job gets the credit for it. And the quality is is uh, reflects that person's skill. So if Handy were to walk over here and do the last two, it'll be her project. And it will be uh, uh, whatever quality her skills are capable of. So that could be kind of interesting. Okay, you have brought that in. These guys are basically here. Let's just, and it is midnight, yeah. Let's just get this one done. Trade with shield. We've got shield and Solak and Arca Arcady and Rogers. <clears throat> this could be the trading center. Hmm. It furnish it out like a big trading area. That might be kind of interesting. You know, take a look at our pretty gauntlet while you're here visiting us. <laughs> they've got wake up that's expensive, and they've got package survival meals that are expensive. They've got medicine, though, at 23. And only three of them. I'll take all three. I usually buy medicine every chance I get. Otherwise, anything else that they've got that we, we have to have, and I'm not seeing anything. So it's a matter of what they have to buy. They only have 250. So the more that we sell, so more that we buy from them, so we bought seventy dollars worth. So they've now got three twenty essentially. So we can sell them three hundred and twenty worth of something. Okay, we got 
Awful Pants at 29. I think that's a no-brainer, though it's only 62 cents. Um, Parka will get rid of everything with a percentage on it, except for maybe the the weapons. Though we've got the ability to sell them more weapons because they're not orbital. Though I'm only seeing these guys. Hmm. Machine pistol, 35% quality. Hmm. I think I will. That one, yes. Um, and that one. We'll keep the rest. What else? Those are gone. Now we can get rid of some of the the clothing here. That's about it to get rid of, isn't it? Problem is, if I get rid of it, I mean, we could we could make some money out of this, and there is some good money here. It would be nice to have the silver. We can make more pretty easy. Okay, let's get rid of the, some of the cloth stuff. We'll do that. We'll remake it in better items, or uh, wool, wool or or some of the leathers. But it would be nice to have more silver available, so that we can turn that into more medicine or something else later. I was gonna say I didn't want to to set somebody back to work, you know, losing their labor of making more clothes. But that is a source of silver for us, so it's probably something I should take advantage of whenever I can. So, superior items sell for more than shoddy. That's obvious. Here's a... what do I have that's comparable? Um, I really don't have one. If I wish I had a, you know, two different dusters. There's two different pants. There's an awful pants. Well, it's 29% though, so still apples and oranges. One of, a question I had last series and I never got answered. So if you guys know, let me know. You know if you know for sure, not just a guess. Well, can I answer it myself? Let's put it this way. If something that is superior sells for more than something that is shoddy, but does the, do the numbers reflect the same thing? So we have two toques here. A shoddy toque, what can I compare here? Deterioration, flammability, hit points. Um, not really seeing... Okay, we have temperature. That might help. What I need is something... Okay, beauty of negative four. Okay, do we have... So a cloth toque, toque. That was the shoddy. I don't have another one other than just one grade up. Um, same. 2.616. 14. So it does a little better in the cold. So it is a little better quality. Okay. I was debating whether to save the quality for us or sell the quality for the silver. That's kind of what I'm what I'm getting at here. We've got a bowler hat and a cowboy hat. We'll hang on to those. So let's... Hmm... There's two of these. Okay, we'll get rid of both of those. And we'll keep... And we'll get rid of that too. Well, I guess that'll just be considered more practice available to uh, make better clothes. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll keep the pants though. We've got lots of jackets, so we'll go ahead and get rid of the duster. So the pants we'll put back. No, pants are right there. Put you back. Sell, sell those. Okay, where are we at now? 139 of their original 250 is coming our way. Is there anything else to get rid of? Kind of losing it here. Right there, that's there. So it's these over here. Cowboy hat. Okay, we can get rid of the, the sculpture I didn't get rid of last time. So we could still squeeze another 70 of their silver into our pocket if we do this right. I don't want to get rid of the rifles, though. Yeah, I guess I can... I already got rid of the, the lowest quality one. What else is there? Keep a t-shirt, keep a pair of pants, keep the hats. I guess that's it. Up here. Insect jelly we can get rid of, components, get rid of cloth, get rid of medicine. Now, and we have no more wake up or whatever drugs to get rid of. Okay, I guess that's it. Accept and pause. Klaus, bring that in please. And then we managed to get 170 silver out of that. That'll get hauled in today, or tomorrow, the next day. Almost today. So, with that, Natalia's in bed. So she's going to be well rested. How you doing otherwise? Health? 
35 out of 40. So these are some pretty deep bruises. 23 out of 30. How's your needs? Your food is fine until morning. And Thomas, I will probably take care of you first thing as far as a meal. Cathra. Health. Two left. 27 out of 30. And 27 out of 30. So you'll be up by morning to get yourself a meal and, and get back to work. All right. These guys are fine. Okay. Is there anything else to do while they are sleeping? So we got the doors set. Once... <clears throat> actually, that's considered f official, but this isn't. We've got to get these moved so that we can get uh, that one set. But once that's done, we can take this one out. And what? This goes through... Remove this door, put a, a block right there, just kind of fine-tune everything, get it all up and running. Uh, no, that door stays. But I guess all of these stay. They may take this path right here to go through. You cancel that that tear down. Yeah, we better leave those doors there. Okay, those doors are good. There. <clears throat> That's probably a keeper as well. They'll make this pathway here, or they'll head out that way. Either way, it doesn't cross traps. Okay. So I guess the doors are all good where they are. Really, the weakest point of this whole thing is right there. If they're smart enough to pick this one door to break through, then the place is theirs. If I were to take a door out for security reasons, that would be it. But brick right there make them go through this to go out this way. We'll wait to see if that's ever an issue. If it is, well, we may be in trouble, but if it's not, then you know, a whole series worth of convenience gone just for a maybe. I hate to do that to you. Alright, these guys are out here. Um, they're ready to eat. They're not cold. They're not needing to rest yet. I don't know how long they're going to stay. Otherwise, nobody's up. So, base. There's Rabbit. I was going to say, let's talk about the base. Digging at granite. Good. This granite over here, which is really called compacted steel. Let's have you work on that one. Um, but before I do that, though, where'd you go? Rabbit and needs. You're going to come back for food before too long. Let's have you instead just consume a fine meal first. And then we'll have you work on this one afterward. That worked, right? It didn't. Really? I held shift down and did that. Let's try that again. You consume a fine meal and then shift and do that. Consuming. It did it this time. Maybe I caught the control button instead of the shift. That eh, might be possible. Okay. Nobody else is up. Nobody else is up. Okay. Anyway, I've only queued up enough of the base to get the bare minimums done. You can see just the, the darker browns. Catherine's fully healed. Good. So, of the animal freezer, that'll just be this area. We're going to actually build it out into here. Just this area for the the uh, vegetable and meat freezer. Just this much for the kitchen. Just... Hmm. I didn't want to plan much more of the base because I'm already starting to forget what each of these rooms were. That's actually the kitchen right there. So that is the meal. No? What is that one? So yeah, I don't want to go too much ahead of myself. So we're going to get just that much mined out and set and furnished. Then we'll move into the next section. Because pretty soon I end up with a whole map full of squares. <laughs> Trying to remember what each one was intended to be. Rabbit, why am I having such a hard time getting you into here? What is the issue? The... I cannot build beyond this line. So that's not the issue there. So why are you having such a hard time? You've never even gotten here yet after all these attempts. Strange. There must be a, dishen, a distance issue. We ran into that with Alpha 13. I remember that now. Sending them halfway across the map to go mine something. They get halfway there and then they change their mind and go do something else. 
So there is a distance thing. I can only get them to go so far before they will think on their own. <laughs> That's scary. Um, Chantigo, we're doing it again. All right, meat you can do right now. So we are holding Megasoft meat. That came out of... There we are. That came out of one of these stacks. Right there. Let's haul this one instead. And with that... Oh... Hate when that happens. With that, you will haul this one and that one in and drop it off. Oh, boy. Chantigo and a whole bunch of others has gotten sick from fibrous mechanitis. I will say that's not happening as often as it did to us in Alpha 13. It was quite rampant there. Um, ensure you have enough. You have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure that Chantigo gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Oh, I don't need this right now. So, it will do what? Health. It will cause 20% pain, 50% <clears throat> manipulation uh, loss. No! Plus 50% to manipulation. So the manipulation has been enhanced. So this, this disease, this condition, gives you pluses and minuses. So it adds to your pain, it adds to your, your manipulation, manipulation and moving. They're going to move faster for a while. Odd. It's going to increase their blood flow by 50%. Which is going to increase their tiredness by 70%. And they will need to be tended, I'm thinking it was 10 times. So 10 herbal medicines for each. That is our entire herbal medicine supply. It's going to go into these. Wow. Which means we need to get this going again and get some more herbal medicines planted because that's going to wipe out our whole supply. Yeah. We're going to have some increased work speed for a while. Or at least moving. Work speed is not really specifically designated in here. Okay. Well, um, we're going to switch you to herbal. And I guess just work our way down the list right here. Actually, did I... M I think I've missed one. There's actually six of them. Handy has got it. And she's already set to herbal medicine for something that I forgot to unset earlier. So, no. We weren't there yet. There you are. Right there. So Handy's got it. And we've got... What did I see there? Klaus has got it. So jump to and set. And we'll just set Klaus's... No, I'm not going to be able to set these for medical beds because they're not going to be able to sleep when they're not needing treatment. So that's just going to be... Unless I just strictly have them sleep it off. Hmm. Let me your thoughts on that. I'd rather they work through this particular disease. It never really harms them. It's just more of a wait for the timer to run out kind of a thing, if I remember correctly. So next is Rabbit. He's gotten it as well. So let's set him to that. I did get Klaus set there, right? Or did I skip that? No, I did it. Okay. And we've got Michael came down with it too. It doesn't give you a hint on where it came from, what caused it. It just says that they all came down with it. Maybe this is something that came in with the food or or something out in the environment, something you know, natural... Uh, a condition that just hits people on this planet. Anyway, Michael, and you're already set to herbal from your your prison days, right? No, I did reset you. I keep forgetting to hit that jump too. So clicking on this doesn't do that over there. Tomislav's also got it. So jump to, and you also get set to herbals. Okay, well you're all going to be treating each other here for a while. We'll just see how this goes. Does Klaus list as he does he's got a a hole in his circle that means he needs some medicine okay then well shantigo's been doing a good job of clearing this place out i have to say that otherwise i was going to send him off to supply some things but you are resting i'm going to say no right now go ahead and haul that let's get you set up 
there's nobody who's going to be able to treat you for a while anyway. Out of curiosity, Natalia came down with it, right? Needs? Uh, health? She did not. Oh, I thought she was one of them. That medicine from Tomislav could have... Well, that was food. That wasn't medicine. I was going to say it could have treated both at the same time. But that was food. He was just giving her a meal. Okay. Anyway, Shandiko's going to do that. Tomislav is going to go to bed. So, work. Going to have to tell you, I guess manually. I don't want to take you off of your automatic medicine. But Tomislav wants you to just go and treat Klaus and get that done. Pretty soon, Nat Natalia can jump up and treat you. Look at the speed. Just flying through this place. Well, that's going to be advantageous. But you didn't put it where I wanted you to because there's meals in the way. Okay, then come on over and haul that one. And when you're done, come over and haul this one. And then come over and haul this one. And then come over and haul this one. You should just fly through that. So I need to really take advantage of this. Tomislav, <laughs> you can take care of Handy. Uh, tend. You can take care of... Nobody else is in bed. Right there, Michael. And Tend. Alright, so who else is out here that is diseased and now has a ridiculous running speed? Rabbit, where are you at? You are running for bed right now. If I told you to go and continue mining, you wouldn't even finish the one. You would go back. So, not much I can do there. Even the orders that just gave Shantico, he may uh, eventually ignore them and, and say, uh-uh. Yep, he's already canceled them all out. Okay, well, the visitors are leaving. And... Tomislav, when you're done, take care of Shantigo. And then take care of Rabbit. And when all that's done, you'll go to bed. And I'll have Natalia take care of you. Okay. So that was Klaus, who is still sleeping. Well, I think your sleeping is done for a while. Let's have you... Let's have you consume a fine meal. And... Shantigo, did you get tended to? You did not. Uh, Tomislav, you are tending to rabbit still. You took a break for something. No, you went to go down to do Michael. Okay. And I can't micromanage Michael because he refuses. <laughs> Klaus, I can. You are hauling dough to stockpile at full speed. No. Let's have you... And let's just make sure it gets done. Let's have you... I wish I could just tell you to haul all this stuff easily you know copy you know do all of that i can't now okay so i'm just going to do it this way klaus haul 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 all the stuff all right do that for a while okay rabbit did you health you did not Tomislav is doing that now. Once that's done, I'm going to set you to get over there and mine like crazy. But you want to sleep. No, nope, no, nope, you're going to go mining. We're going to get us some steel. And boy, we're going to get it at ten times the speed now. All right, who else's day can I ruin? Let's see. Tomislav's in bed. Natalia, let's wake you up and take care of... Boy, you're good. I didn't even get to click it and you knew what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Klaus is very busy. Rabbit. Good. You made it all the way over there, too. You just pick away at that. Thank you. Shantigo is bringing one thing at a time. I'm going to stop you there. And Shantigo, you're going to haul this group away. There's still ten over there, so you won't be bothered with making that trip and then you're going to haul this over and you still haven't got any meat over there so then you're going to haul this over uh, right there so between all of that you're going to reload your station and you're going to why did they drop the deer right there maybe that was already there because this should only be set to 
meals. Hmm. Okay. Well, Klaus is bringing all the stuff in. Good. Did I see rain? Fog. It's foggy out. Okay. So we've got 65 and 70. Great. Shantigo is set. Klaus is busy. Kathra came down with it too. Where is she at? She is harvesting poplar trees like there's no tomorrow. And we have got a herd of deer. Oh, good. And some boomalopes. Ooh. Good, 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 good. Where are these boomalopes? I'm going to turn them off. There. No more handle you. Where have the rest gone? Okay. Who's down here? Handy's out there building. Um, a couple things. What are you? Okay. So, apparently the other guys, the others have moved off the map. All right. Sangria is trying to gather the last of those animals before winter hits and they all die of starvation or we hunt them. So these guys over here, we can go ahead and try to tame them. Minor break risk. Haven't seen that in a long time. Shantigo needs. Why? Because you're increased pain, you're feeling bad, you're sick, and rebuffed by Handy. <laughs> and a very ugly environment. Hmm. Tell you what, this whole group is going to be cranky through this, aren't they? I think they are. Let's see if I can remember who they were. I'm thinking it was you guys, Klaus. It was Rabbit. And... Tomislav and Shantigo. Somebody else got in on that who isn't. Um, no, there were six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Michael was one of them, though. Yeah, somebody here is getting a bonus hour off. But I think that might be wise. Though it may be wiser to do it not stacked on top of each other. Get the most benefit of it by doing it early and doing it late. Let's do this instead. There. Okay. And anything through there. Now, anything I've missed. Natalia has moved into here. Let's anything right there from Michael. And we'll just do that for now. Okay. So that's good. Now, Shantigo, health, need. You are actually pretty rough. Beauty's causing it right now. So, where are you right now? Shantigo's, you're out over here butchering because we actually have 50? Whoa. Where'd you go? I finally rolled off the screen. I've been hesitating or resisting doing this one. No. Gotta find it. There? No. Try that one. There we go. You've got two different ways to view all of your raw resources. You can stack them by categories, or you can, uh, or you can spread them out. I prefer to see them all the time. But we finally have almost enough. You shifted over. Why? Because we ran. No, we didn't run out of meat. Why are you butchering? Hmm. Okay. So let's just take you off of cooking for a while. Work, and let's get you more into the cleaning mode. Um, Shantigo, your cleaning take you to a one. Though you do have, well, you will, yeah, sorry, you will, you will continue to butcher because that is a cooking detail. All right, so no more of that. Shantigo, why don't you clean the kitchen area? Oh, you ran out of wood. That's what caused it. Okay. Handy, you are relaxing socially. Needs, yeah, you're pretty rough. Who can, who's not in, a, in bad shape right now? that can restock the stove. And after that, I think I've got to get this episode shut down. Um, Tomislav was almost always sitting with a good mood. So you are hauling steel, which you found out over here, didn't you? You did. So you're hauling steel to finish building something. Well, that's good. But let's instead have you restock this so that we can get back to cooking when we need to otherwise I need I need haulers you know that's that would be a great use of this disease let's get all the hauling done who can I spare Cathera handy 
there's still lots of construction to do. Klaus is set to hauling. Rabbit is set to mining, and I want him to do that. Sangria is a backup hauler. Shantigo's cleaning. Tomislav is constructing with Handy. Huh. Let's set Sangria to hauling right now, but try to remember to take her back off of that soon. Let's get all of this hauled in, and all the little piddly stuff, like all these logs that are going to be building up around the map somewhere, over here, hauled in. Okay, but Sangria will finish her... I figured she would... Taking berries. Yeah, she'll finish her taming for now. Okay, what are you? You're a baby boomalope. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody here had a baby. Um, <clears throat> the bed. Beds, plural. We've got a normal. We've got an excellent. All right. So let's uninstall both of these. And set them aside. Until the marriage ceremony happens. Sienna has gotten food poisoning from Megasoth meat. Hmm. Though we have kibble, she went here. Now, one way to make that not happen is to set her to a specific zone that is, you know, the majority of the map where she'll be hauling, minus... No, I'm going to say minus the refrigerator, but we want her to be able to haul meat into the refrigerator. So she's going to have access to the refrigerator no matter what, which means she's got a chance of uh, a food poisoning from raw meats because she's randomly going to be eating them. Okay, not much we can do about that. This guy is rotting away. Kathra is harvesting. Uh, okay, her harvesting. Let's, after that's done, let's set you more to... Kathra. To, well, art. Okay, actually, pick that a two. Rabbit is going to one after that. Okay, we've got a lot of wood chopped down. Let's call that good enough. Look at that. Handy is just flying with that iron steel. <clears throat> okay, anyway, I think it's probably a time to shut this down. We're just under an hour. Next episode, let's, with Handy, with Handy's run speed and getting so much of the construction done so quickly, we can get her into getting this built here real soon. In fact, I can set that one right now. Let's just... Um, up in here. Let's have you and Rabbit... Let's also have you, right there, bring wood. And who else can I set to do that real quick? Klaus, you are hauling a spielipede to the stockpile. No more food. You bring wood to that area. And one more person. Shantigo is cleaning dirt. I'm going to leave him alone. Michael won't do it. Catherine will making a small sculpture after you bring enough wood to fill in that area there. Which is sitting over here anyway. Okay, so with that, I think we can call this one done. That was a nice uneventful episode. And maybe one or two more of these and we can kind of feel a, a sense of accomplishment before the next craziness starts to happen. So with that, we're going to call this one done. It's the Noble Rambler and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.